is the March of Machines end of days. We have three more days at most of story. And uh, today, this video is going to be talking about the new Capenna, the Fall of Park Heights story by Lise Kova. I personally did not have Jet Set Radio Future-esque paint wars as one of the best ways to defeat New Phyrexia, but here we are. This story is told from the point of view of Errant, the daughter of Anhelo, the current leader of the Maestros after Xander was murdered unrightfully by Obnixilis in the New Capenna story. Um, they are a street artist who is one of the few people still alive that knows kind of all the street markings on how to use the back alleys to get around the city. Um, it opens, though, specifically with her wedding. Aaron is marrying Parnice, uh, the subtle brush. Uh, they um, are a very cute couple. They're both artists. That's why they get along. Uh, in my head, uh, headcanon, uh, one of the things, because a lot of people are like, wait, Parnice is a vampire wizard. And hello, her father is a vampire assassin. Aaron, Aaron's father. Why, but she's a human rogue. Did they miss up the lore? To me personally, because vampirism is not something that's genetically inherited. Uh, Aaron married someone that, and probably subconsciously reminded her of her father. But regardless, it opens up at the wedding, and the wedding is the moment, uh, while they were getting married, is uh, a moment that Phyrexia arrived, or at least that's how it's kind of played. It might have been a dream, but um, that's definitely the vibe of what's happening. Basically, during the wedding, someone spills a glass, and it makes the Phyrexian symbol. Now that I think about it, it probably was just her dream combining all of the events of this really important moment, and then the Phyrexians invading. But regardless, uh, we then cut to them running around on a mission in the underground. Uh, they're being chased by one of the, like, the, the Phyrexian beasties that, like, locks people in to, to lead them to completion. Uh, Errant is fine, but Parnessa has, uh, wounded her leg, so she's, you know, the blood trailing off of her leg wound is one of the things leading the beast to follow them. Um, they're able to duck and dodge for a little bit using the fact that they're able to read these, like, street signs to get through different escape routes. They run into a dead end, uh, and that moment also a second beast kind of confronts them, so they have the one that they've been able to kind of duck and dodge, and then they run into another one. At that moment, they use explosives, uh, kind of in a self-sacrificial way, thinking that this was going to be the end for them, and they'd rather die than uh, be completed, but because the explosion kind of, they were able to throw it so it doesn't kill them immediately, and it puts off this big signal, they're actually saved. By the angel Della, this is actually the first time Errant had ever really interacted with an angel, which I think is really interesting, meaning that since they had left on that mission, the angels had been brought in by the brokers to formalize their final plan to defeat Atraxa. And that plan is that the Riveters and Zayatora have found one of the main columns holding up the Park Heights district, which uh, they're going to use to collapse it onto Atraxa, and then at the same time use that moment as a moment for the angels to fight back against all these portals. So there's this whole meeting where it's basically behind a bunch of, like, lieutenants of each of the main families. You have Perry, the pulverizer for the brokers. You have Camise from Obscura. Henzi from the Riveters. And Parnessa from the, the, the Maestros. They make a point that Aaron isn't a Maestro, but her dad, Angelo, is literally the leader of the Maestros, or was up to the point of uh, Phyrexian invading. It's very insinuated, and then we get confirmation that he is completed. We also get some confirmations on people that aren't uh, completed. So Falco, for some reason, Atraxa really doesn't like Falco. Uh, my guess is because Falco is the three colors that uh, are aligned with Elishnorn and has angel vibes because he's a bird. Zayatora is also uh, still alive. Interestingly enough, the Cabaretti is the one group that isn't included amongst them that's part of this fight. They don't address it, just there's not a Cabaretti character included in this meeting. So, Errant goes to complete the mission of laying the bombs around the spire that they found. Uh, basically, uh, there's a back and forth on, like, why does she have to do it? She just got back. She's one of the few people that understands how to read these writings. And then, specifically, the Riveters don't want to do it themselves because it's destroying something that they worked extremely hard to do. And it's kind of like destroying their baby. And so, they want someone else to do their dirty work for them. Errant goes, but the angels actually provide her with halo spray paint cans, and that's where all of the, like, Jet Set Radio Banksy-esque <laughs> street art, uh, crime fighting, not crime fighting, Phyrexia fighting happens. It's honestly the best part of maybe the entire story is that she just goes around using spray paint cans of paint and paint bombs t filled with halo to defeat Phyrexians, and it's, it's sick. Uh, she eventually gets there to the spire, lays all the bombs down, uh, mostly without too much trouble, uh, except that as soon as she's done, uh, and hello shows up. He has been completed. There's a little bit of the, you know, classic Phyrexian, I'm your father, I love you still, you should join Phyrexia, it's great, art's perfect here, and then she's like, absolutely not, uh, etc., etc. They don't actually, she like runs away and he gets uh, caught up in a halo blast that the angels do at the moment that she lets off the explosives that are holding the thing off. It collapses. We don't see what happens to Atraxa, interestingly enough. We just know that the plane is working. Atraxa was in the location she was supposed to be there. The bombs go off. 
We don't know for sure that Anhelo doesn't survive being in that exploded, but I don't, I think Anhelo is dead. Maestro leadership is not, is not a good profession. Um, but at the same moment that they're able to destroy, uh, hopefully attracts a, uh, at least pin attracts it down in a way that allows all of the angels on New Capenna to, um, take Halo and start flying through the portals, uh, connected to the world. So they're, they're, they're on their way for, you know, the, uh, on your left moment that's about to happen on New Phyrexia. So, like, the key importance of the story beyond maybe defeating Atraxa and just, like, kind of seeing what's happening on New Capenna is that the angels are zooming through the Phyrexian portals to to work it to defeat the, uh, to Phyrexia. So they're going to join the fray.